Previously on the Elizabeth Henstridge YouTube channel. I was looking through some emails. I found this one for Fitzsimmons the movie. Oh, it's so cute. I can't believe I haven't seen it. Oh my gosh, that was so brilliant. Should we quickly watch the Quake trailer? Let me see if I can find it. There's a few now. I think it's this one. Let's watch this one. Wait. Her lifelong search led to stories of murder. Her search is over. Her story ends here. Oh, this is so but you know what she said? Anyone who signs up for this to lose friends or your mind oh. or your life in protection of humanity. I mean, we are in this time. I want to see this movie. You have no idea what other intergalactic threats are out there. But you've got to decide whether you're going to step up or not. You know how this wind. <gasps> oh, Chloe is so good at those one-liners. <sighs> Gosh, you just see all the things that she's done and that the show has done. It's so nice. Go, I got this. <sighs> she does got this. She said no. Her story started here. Yeah. Oh my God, this music's amazing. I'm goosebumpy all over. Her story starts here. Oh my gosh, it's so good! Okay, before this video gets crazy long, I also came across this email. And this video, I was going to do an Ask Auntie Lil. I was looking through emails and came across this link. I did see another uh, email that I thought was actually pretty perfect. Uh, oh, hang on, it's behind you, I can't see it. One moment. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> what a shame we've just seen those amazing trailers with amazing sound and then um, then i just do my own sound effect Ooh. right but i just thought ding, 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 ding. there we go mm. it was sort of a perfect email to read after seeing the fitzsimmons trailer so i just want to do a quick little um, ask auntie lil and the other thing i want to say is that i'm going to be doing a podcast with two really great friends of mine one of whom kerry urban who is an incredible hairstylist and makeup artist to the stars she called me and was like i've seen you ask auntie lil youtube videos i've been thinking about doing a podcast sort of around the same thing would you want to do it together so i said uh yes and then my friend val also knows kerry and because she was in a lot of, well, I've only done two, in both the Ask Auntie Lil episodes, I said she'd be a great person to do it with as well. So, just to keep you updated, we're going to be doing a podcast. We're sort of starting just the planning of it at the moment, and then I think we're going to make a batch of them and then roll them out, so I'll keep you posted. But it's brilliant because I get so many amazing emails. This is just a great way to maybe be able to answer more. So, we're going to email you to ask your permission to be in the podcast your um dilemma so if you get an email from me or kerry or val that's what that is so that's really exciting because i love doing the ask auntie lils and it just feels like gosh i could just do one every day because there's so many um, brilliant emails that come through so that's kind of a happy coming together Ooh, do you like my monkey mouse swag <laughs> Been away from Zach for quite a long time now, so this makes me feel safe. Safe? <laughs> safe and close to him. Okay, here's the thing that I just felt like went really well with this um, video. And I read this, they just were both sort of at the top of my email list, so I thought it was meant to be. It says, hi Lil, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but if you do, thank you so much for dealing with my... Oh no! Oh, well it says, dealing with my annoyingly long questions. Sorry about this. That's not... You'd never be sorry. It says, I was wondering how you know when you've met the right person to date. I'm only 14, so I shouldn't be worrying about this, but I find myself thinking about it a lot. I've been in one relationship and I thought I liked the guy and I thought he liked me, but when it came to actually having a relationship, I felt like I was always moving it forward and he never was. I wasn't even moving it forward a lot. I just 
wanted to, I just wanted him to text me sometimes or call me. He never texted me. I always had to text him first. He would take days to respond sometimes. I could tell that he didn't really want this relationship. I was confused as to why he got into it if he didn't want it. Him not texting me back and not wanting to talk to me outside of school had some bad effects on my self-esteem. Oh, I bet it did. Some people said I was too affectionate and it might have been too fast, but holding hands and calling each other is something people do when they are dating, right? He broke up with me right after school started and said he wasn't ready for a relationship yet, which I respect, but now I'm wondering if I am too affectionate or smothering and if I would ever find someone who enjoys a lot of affection and hugs and things like that, because I do. That's from Hannah. Oh, Hannah, what a lovely email. And it just made me think of what Fitzsimmons went through a little bit too. The first thing to say is, and this is to everybody that emails, it's never annoying that you email. I just can't get to respond to everybody. Hopefully there's a part of writing it down and sending something that helps to kind of process the dilemma a little bit. If I just feel like my head is muddled a bit, I'll write everything down and put it in a drawer. And every now and again, I find this list from, I don't know, six months ago, a year ago that I wrote down. I go, wow, everything has worked itself out. And sometimes all it, it's a simple thing of just writing it down can really help. Um, so hopefully some of you are feeling that. I went through a little bit of a similar thing at school and I just think I was too young to, you know, I just would get very nervous, be like, yeah, let's go out, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend, and then get really nervous and just never talk to them and get too embarrassed. Everybody develops at different points in their lives, so it's not to say that you're too young. I'm just saying, just so you know, I was a little bit like this guy sounds, I just didn't feel ready, and it was just a bit too much for me at that age. So I didn't start having any sorts of relationships until much later. 17 and then didn't really have another relationship that was like boyfriend girlfriend until i was like 21 maybe after that so don't worry if you're a late starter or not that that is even late but you know what i mean like it's different for everybody i think is what i'm trying to say and the other thing is I think it's just a really useful thing for you to have experienced that everybody shows love in different ways and everybody likes to receive love in different ways and it's the different love languages. So your love language, your way of showing affection is sounds like it's tactile, which is one of mine too. Maybe we could put the love languages. It's like words of affirmation, gifts, uh, uh, tactile touch, I think. Oh, acts of service. I'm gonna put the other one up here if there's another one. I think there's five. Anyway, it's figuring out what yours are and figuring out what they are, theirs is so that then you can communicate. Physical touch might not be his love language, but if he knows that it's yours, then he, he knows how to comfort you. And I mean, it's, all, it's obviously great if the love languages match up, but they don't have to at all. So you have found out from this experience, even though it sounds like it was a bit painful and did dent your self-esteem, that that's your love language. You like physical touch. So the next relationship you're in, you'll know that that's how you express yourself. And so you'll just end up finding someone that really enjoys that and it's okay that he doesn't doesn't mean anything's wrong with him it just means you weren't the perfect match if you enjoy it if you enjoy hugs and affection and that kind of comfort then that's brilliant that's a great that you know that because some people it takes till they're like 35 or older to know what their love language is so that's really exciting so no because at the end you say i'm wondering if i'm too affectionate or smothering not at all. It's just great that you know that. And that's not the way he shows um, affection. And I just, just don't settle for anything less. And I think this is a brilliant lesson. Uh, and I'm sorry that it knocked your self-esteem, but just know that it's all about it being the right match for both people. And it doesn't sound like he was the right match for you. And it doesn't sound like he really gave you what he needed. But I can just say when I was 14 at school, I would have been exactly the same as him. Kind of, it would have just all been a bit much for me, I think. And I just didn't, I wasn't ready for that. And I thought I was, and I liked the idea of, oh, having a boyfriend, but actually, absolutely, just when I was boyfriend, girlfriend with someone, it was just, I was too embarrassed even to just like walk into the classroom when they were there. So it's about timing a lot of it and knowing oh. what your love languages are. And you know what yours are now. So then you can have that conversation when you are dating 
somebody of like how do you show affection what do you like what are your ways that you like to receive love and then once you know that you can kind of communicate on that level with them and you can say well mine's physical touch and uh, words of affirmation and I like to I like you to text me back and I like you to tell me how you're feeling uh, and then they can adjust so I think that's what Fitzsimmons found in the end of asking and really communicating you are I one should struggle you twisted right now. piece of work and talking about what each person needed and being honest the true you just cut my heart out with her bone knife well now you know how it feels oh ha 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 and the road to true love never did run smooth because i love you no well, i love you too well, then why are we yelling i don't know because we're still discovering so much about ourselves in a relationship as well <laughs> didn't know you liked that I know you do that. But Hannah, you sound so wonderful and lovely and I love physical touch too. I love hugs and um, being affectionate and words of affirmation as well. So it sounds like we're quite similar and you will find your perfect puzzle piece. Just don't settle for something that's not a perfect puzzle piece, especially now. Try not to feel too much pressure about being in a relationship either because like you say, you are young. When you say I really shouldn't be worrying about this, it's okay that you are worrying about it, but just know that you've got all the ingredients that you need within you to find the perfect partner and it will happen at the right time and you don't need to change for this boy or for anyone. So, thanks for your email. Guys, this has been a mashup of a reaction video and an Ask Auntie Lil. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me in my hotel. I'll only be here for a couple more days. So anybody worried about people maybe figuring out where I am by the time this is up on YouTube, I will not be staying here anymore, which is a shame, but there we go. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I have been Elizabeth Head Street. I don't want you to go here on my own. I just don't want you to go. I don't want to go. But I will let you go because I'm sure you've got lots to be getting on with. And the sun is shining now, which is brilliant because, you know, I don't have a ring light or anything. So it's all natural light at the moment. And I also don't have any hair products with me or my curlers or my straighteners. Can you tell? Don't want you to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you guys for just all your lovely emails and all the lovely comments and... Uh, for the amazing feedback on Life with Lil the podcast. I appreciate you all so much. All right, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Whew.